Hello, my name is Hector. Welcome back to How to Play FTB Revelation. How's everyone doing? Hope you are doing well. Last episode, we built a mob farm. We went over some options for mob farms, and today we're gonna do the the biggest the biggest thing you can do, in my opinion, in um in modded, which is learn how to fly. We're gonna be making an angel ring, uh, which is in this pack at least one of the best ways of flying and that's what it looks like and there's different versions if you want wings as well and um, there's in this i think the only other way to fly is a jetpack which you have to keep charged it takes you can see eu which is another form of power that only industrial craft two uses so if you play in another pack you might have other jetpacks available to you which will help you out in getting an angel ring if you have um, extra utilities you will have an angel ring it's a very very common mod it is in most mod packs so you should be able to do this so if you look at this you can see it's made up of a few things a golden lasso and a cursed lasso but first you need the ring of the flying squid and to get the ring of the flying squid you need the chicken wing ring uh, so we need this first so this is not too bad this is some iron uh, some feathers uh, some resonating redstone crystals. Now, you might get some of these when you break redstone. You sometimes do, but you can also make them uh, using uh, ender pearls. So let's let's do that, actually. I think I have a couple of redstone uh, ender pearls here. I've got some redstone here as well. There we go. And I'm thinking I need some iron. There we go. So let's let's do that. Um, Let's actually, let's actually, rather than putting angel in, let's put ring. Um, where are you? Where are all the rings? There they are. There they are. Chicken ring. Okay, so that, we need that, and we need a glass cutter. There we go. And then you put that in there, and you get eight bits of ender shard. There we go. Uh, and then all we need to do is put these in, and you can see you get two of those, and you get some ender shard left, which is a very nice little thing. Um, like I say, you can also get those from breaking a redstone ore as well, or at least you used to. But there you go. Now, the cursed lasso, the cur well, no, no, the golden lasso, requires eight enchantment levels to craft. Now, I only have three, so I will not be able to do this. I need to go get some um, get some XP before we do this. Um, so that is a very important thing. You need eight XP to be able to, and we will need two of these, okay? So if I put that in there now, like that you can see I don't I can't I literally cannot make this right now so that is an important little facet so let's get some XP and then when you get back we will make some lassos so you can see I've got 16 levels now and this pops up nicely and we need to make another one of these BAM there we go we've got two golden lassos and what do these do well they allow us let's just load up this they allow us to pick up mobs um let's have a look how there was a cow around here there there he is so this is a great way to move mobs around bam there you go and you can see it now contains a cow boom and you put that down it can only do one at a time there we go we need a chicken boom lovely stuff so that is how that works it only works it only works for passive mobs okay so it won't work for hostile mobs so any zombies skeletons anything like that that will not work using a normal lasso but we'll get to how how to pick up those sorts of mobs um later on so there we go we need that uh and what do we not have what do we not have oh it's it's put the wrong lasso in there we go there we go chicken wing ring there we go and you get the lasso back you see you get that back so that is nice and useful to have so it, you can see that it uses one gp now you probably won't want to use this just um, by itself um, and i've got no grid power right now if you want to know what grid power is let's look into that as well so the first thing we will need to get some grid power is a resonator okay so very simple recipe block of coal and some basic supplies okay so we can put that down there and you can see now Grid power, zero out of zero, no power used or generated. And if you look at any machine from uh, Extra Utilities 2, you can see you'll get a grid power thing. And in fact, I've had to put my um, my chicken wing ring away because right now you can see this, <laughs> the chicken wing, 
uses one grid power and that is more than what we have so that actually turns off right now so that's a thing to consider and there you go once put, put that away it starts working again so there we have it so what can we use this for well we need to make we need to get some stuff that um produces grid power so rather than rf which is sort of a a current you know that we we use with pipes some sort of pipes to move the current around grid power is very different very different and there are different ways of um of generating it and um, let's have a look extra utility and then let's have a look first of all the no nope. the first thing that we will have to make is these solar panels there you go gives power during daylight hours must have clear line of sight to sky power reduced by rain base power given one gp one grid power and th these are made like so. So we need some lapis to make three, and then we need this polished stone. And polished stone you make from just normal bricks. So let's get a little bit of lapis. Let's, can I? Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's get some more of that. Did I? Yes, I did. I totally got one of those as well. Um, and let's make some more of these bad boys. There we go, three of those. That'll do for us for now, and then let's make some bricks so that there we go and polished stone how lovely let's make some of these we we'll get nine of those that is excellent excellent nine so all we have to do like it said is you just put them out you put them out anywhere it's up to you but they need clear line of sight to the sky and each of these produces one grid power now you can see that if i look on it there you go. It says grid power zero out of nine. So the nine is how much we have. We are currently generating in total. Zero is how much we're actually using. So we're not using any. And then there you can see power generating one. That is how much this solar panel is generating. And if you look over here again now, you will see zero out of nine. And if you look here, it's, it will say the same. So let's get our chicken wing ring out or whatever it's called. Uh, where are you? There you go. If we now you can see grid power one out of nine because that chicken ring uses one GP. There you go, and and what what this does you can see it basically it allows us to float down. So if we double space, like double jump, basically you can see it uses there's a, a little timer now. This isn't really used much. Um, let's let's try doing it off here maybe. There you go. Oh, <laughs> that didn't work. Let's try that again. I don't think I quite got the timing right. Let's try that again. Come on. Oh, you've got to hold it. You've got to hold it. And then you, you sort of float down and then <laughs> you go down. So there you go. That is what the chicken wing ring does. Now, you might want a better grid power setup than just using solar panels. And the most common one uh, the most common one is, well, the, there are different versions. There's the lava mill, there you go, operates when adjacent to lava. There is the windmill, uh, which you can see it has a different, uh, it, it's not a static grid power like the solar panel. It's always one grid power unless it's just off. You can see current power given, it changes depending on the wind, as you might imagine. The fire mill placed over fire, which is pretty good. Uh, the most common one is the water mill. And you make this a like so. What is this stone burnt stuff? Well, you need to polish stone in the resonator. And that's why we've made a resonator. So all of those mills need a, a resonator. And now you can see that needs eight grid power. So you can see we've, we've got the nine. We were using one with the chicken ring. We've just about enough. We have just about enough to cover that. There you go. And you can see we get a stone burn. So if that overloads, if the grid power overloads and you start drawing more than what you have, all operations will just stop. So everything that uses grid power will stop, including the furnace generator, which actually doesn't even take grid power. So that's something to um, to look out for. So let me make some of these stone burnt things and then we and this the redstone gear is just redstone torches around some planks so it's not too bad uh, we're going to make i think eight of these so get your stuff together get eight and uh, we'll get back when that is done right then there we go eight water mills lovely stuff so what we need to do 
what we need to do is you need to make a five by five little area like this and then go two out from the middle and on each side. So I need to, oh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to change this around. And you, there we go. There we go, lovely, much better. Okay, let's get another bit of water. And to here, there we go. And boom, to there, like that, there we go. Uh, and then the way we're gonna put this is put one of these in front of each one of those and then connect the, the corners. So you'll have something like that. And now the way the water mill works is that it actually needs flowing water. Okay, so that's why we set it like this. So we will put, let's get the other water bucket, one um, flowing block of water there. So it, this is the block where it generates power. And you can see it has it has fans on each side, so each side can generate power. So you can see now it's generating four, um, four grid power, which is great. So we're gonna put one in the corner as well. And that's how we're gonna do this. So one here and then one in the corner. And that just has the, uh, the effect of basically being able to do three you know, sides at once. Well, four sides, one, two, three, four, which is great. Lovely stuff, there we go. So all the way around, like that. Come on, like that. Bam, and bam. And here, and here, and then lastly, lastly, in the middle. There you go, and that does all of that stuff. So this is a nice easy way. So now you can see, uh, we've, we're generating 115. 115 and don't worry about the effective power and 17 percent efficiency loss don't worry about that this is like good enough for us right now to be doing all what we need you don't really probably need that much grid power 115 will do us nicely uh, so this will completely sort us out now the one thing that you do need to do you need to make sure is that that wherever we are right now is uh, chunk loaded so if this is chunk loaded this will work in across dimensions basically. So make sure that this, wherever you are, wherever you put it, is chunk loaded. So right, now we can get back, we can get back to doing the ring business. So uses for the ring uh, wing, chicken ring wing, <laughs> that's hard to say. So we need two diamonds, uh, an ender pearl, we need some black dye or ink sacks or anything like that, and we need a squid. There we go. So let's go out and get a squid and then return and we'll do this. There we have it, I've got a squid in there, you can see, and you can see uh, the health as well of whatever mob you have in there, which is pretty nice, that's pretty nice. Um, black dye all around, diamond, chicken wing ring in there, and then we get the ring of the flying squid. Jet propulsion at your fingertips uses 16 grid power, so there you go, so it's doubled, okay. Uh, oh no, no, it's not doubled, <laughs> that only uses one. Um, the next one will double as well, Angel Ring, that's what I'm on about. Um, so 16 GP, we get the Golden Lasso back. Let's have a look. I don't even know, I don't think I've ever, ever used the Ring of the Flying Squid. Oh, that's pretty good. So it's like a jetpack almost. You can see it uses, there you go, you can see there's the bar across the screen and it uses that. So that's, that's pretty, that's not bad. So I've got, I've got my, um, my slime boots on right now. Yeah, so it definitely doesn't seem to, um, doesn't prevent uh, fall damage, but the slime boots will of course make us bounce. So that's pretty good. Now, this is the big one now, this is the big one. What do we do with that? Well, we can get the angel ring. So you've got different options. Uh, you've got the standard angel ring, which you make with glass, which is just nothing. So you won't have any um, physical difference to your your player. Um, nothing will look this, you know, nothing will change. You will just be able to fly. Uh, if you make it with feathers, you get you know little wings and angel rings, and there are devil wings, golden wings, and then uh, some more devil wings. So it's it's sort of up to you how you want to uh, look. But what you need is gold, you need a golden lasso with a bat, and then this is the big one, this is the thing that makes this hard, you need a cursed lasso with a ghast in it. 
How do you get a cursed lasso? Well, you need a another one of these drops of evil. If you remember, we use them to make the mob farm, and they are dropped from wither skeletons at a ten percent rate. Although looting, you can see it's affected by looting. So go make yourself a sword with like full looting, and you, it shouldn't be too hard to get. So uh, a cursed lasso. I think I have some drops of evil uh, somewhere in here. There we go. I've got one. There we go. Let us make one of these and one of these. There we go. So we've got a curse lasso. So the first one we'll tackle, the first one to tackle is the bat. So bats usually, uh, obviously they spawn in dark areas like caves. They also, also spawn under, you know, if you remember the slime islands, that can sometimes be a good place, but most likely you'll end up going down into the caves and trying to get a bat from around there. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Mark, I can see a bat down there, down here. Uh, I can't see anything else. I've run out of torches. There is a something else in here. Um, I don't know if I can even see this. Oh, where are you? Where have you gone? There, 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 there. Bat. <laughs> Oh, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. I've I've got the bat. I, that might have been really hard to see. I apologise. <laughs> to help us out uh, with catching a gas, because it is a hard thing, I'm going to use a teleportation wand. Um, Right-click to teleport forward until a block is hit or maximum distance is reached. So there you go, that's how we do that. So uh, I'm going to meet two of those and then two of those. So... If we, uh, if we look, basically, this will work, and obviously it takes durability. Oh no, it, ah, it's not taking durability. It's taking XP. So I need to go get some more XP, so that's not too bad. So no durability, just XP. So that's, that's a good thing. What I might also do is, if we have, do I have plastic? Yes, I do. Uh, I need one more, I think. So the difference between a cursed lasso and a normal lasso is that these can take a um, hostile mob. So in the same way that a lasso can, a um, cursed lasso can do um, can do hostile mobs. Now there is another way of getting hostile mobs as well, and that is using these. Um, if we use these catalyzing glands, uh, we can make a gas tier. Which is, you know, not too hard to get, but if you've got a mob farm set up, at least in the overworld, you'll probably have a lot of these, and that's a good way of getting this. And then four bits of plastic, like that, will get a mob imprisonment tool. Now, from industrial foregoing, these uh, do hostile mobs and passive mobs alike. So, the thing with the ghast is that it, it, it has to be... Um, to be able to get it into a curse lasso, it cannot be at full health. So you have to, you have to knock it down a few, like a few times to get it. I can't remember exactly what health, but the lasso will basically not allow you to get it in, and it will tell you it needs. It's still too, has too many hit points, so you need to bring it down. It the ghast will well. The curse lasso will tell you. So I'm going to go in to the Nether now, and we're gonna we're gonna try that. And actually, no. First, I'm gonna get some more XP. Okay, this one here. Look at that. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Let's try. Ow! Oh man! Ow! 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 So this is what I need to do. I need to try. Oh, he! He! Who? Need to try and grab him. There we go, we got him, we got him, and I need to, <laughs> need to get somewhere, there we go. Oh, ow, 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 ow. There we go, right, we've got a ghast in here. So, I'm going to go back to the overworld now, and then we're going to try and get him, get the ghast in, um, in the cursed lasso, but... You can see, having the ring of the flying squid is really helpful right now. Now, there is also a bit of a bug um, right this at this moment that if you come into a different dimension, the ring won't work immediately. And what you have to do is just pick it up and put it back down again, and it then seems to start working again. So if you, if you sort of see that happening, that's what you have to do to fix it. But anyway, let's get this gas in this lasso. So I've built a room in the overworld. I say built. I've just hammered out a room in the overworld. And we're going to spawn our ghast back in here. We're going to then hit him 
uh, and then we're going to put him back in the mob imprisonment tool, okay? Um, it, you, and you can see health 10. So that is what we're going to do. I don't know how well this is going to work. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that was funny. So, okay. Oh, can I? I can. I cannot. I'm. There we go. I'm healing. I'm healing. So let's have a look. Health nine. Okay. So I think it's going to be below half. So I presume under five uh, for this to work. Let's heal up again. <laughs> so it seems to spawn in immediately facing you. <laughs> So yeah, okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep doing this. Ow. <laughs> uh, I should, I should heal. I should heal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. How, how good was that? Oh, health three. Okay. Let's heal up then. Let's spawn him in again. And I think we might be able to actually get the ghast into the cursed lasso now. Let's just heal quickly, come on. So all of this so that we can fly. There we go, right. Whew. There we go, boom. So I think it is under halfway. So let's get back up here now. You can see I'm not that far away. And you can see my, my, um, my ring, my squid ring isn't working right now. So let's just do the trick. There you go, and it's working. So that's how that works. So let's put you back in here. Um, everything else should be here, I think. Uh, oh no, what am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, the ring, <laughs> that ring itself. There you go, angel ring. You can see I'm just using glass. Um, uses 32 grid power. And then we put that in and you can see, of course, we get the golden lasso and the cursed lasso back. And then from here on in, it just needs to be in your inventory. But you can see it says also bauble ring. So if you've got this mod called baubles, you can see it's, it gives you an extra, an extra little, um, th well, few slots where to put certain things. And one of the things that you can put in is rings. So you can have another one there, for instance, for Britannia or anything like that. And we we now that will just that will just stay there, which is great because what it means what it means is that you don't have to take up an inventory slot, and we can fly, we can fly. So remember to keep the grid power loaded, and like I say, right now there is a bit of a bug, a bit of a bug in how you were traveling between dimensions. So bear that in mind. But there you go. Hopefully you learned something how to get an angel ring and uh, power it using grid power. Hopefully that helped. If it if it did, feel free to leave a like or comment. If you've got questions, feel free to ask and we'll, we'll see if we can get those answers as well. Thank you so much for watching. I have been Ekta. This has been How to Play FTB Revelation and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.